Now he's on the curb. Oh my god. He's going over the bridge now. Holy crud, dude. Oh, what is he doing? What is he doing? Everybody, welcome to another Westover video today for you on the channel. I hope you guys are having an incredible day. Today we are taking out the Lavatoire Noir Bugatti because I did get a new paint job for the vehicle. I wanted to hear what you guys think and also this is one of the most requested videos that I've been asked to do many times. You guys seem to absolutely love any time I play Ultimate Driving on the channel so thank you for continuing to support it. This guys is my Bugatti Lavatoire Noir. Previous it had this really really weird green wrap on it I don't know why you guys didn't say it looked terrible because when I went and played this game again I realized just how bad it looked, but we've got the Bugatti We've got it in this really really nice kind of like cherry red. I really like it So we're gonna take this out for a bit of a drive today. I haven't driven this car in a while uh, And yes before you ask the neighbor's house is on fire once again I don't know what it is with this neighborhood, but I guess they don't know how to operate stoves or something but yeah here we go <laughs> another neighbor's house is on fire hopefully somebody uh, does something about this another one this whole entire server is on fire what is going on today either way guys we're here in another beautiful sunny day in Westover I have to say this new lighting is so so good I'm gonna get some gas though uh, because I have less than half a tank and this thing drinks gas so let's go ahead and uh, really quickly stop here and then let's go ahead and refuel this server by the way in case you guys were wondering has a couple of friends and a couple of fans on it we play on the server a lot so you know lots of craziness happens but hopefully for once we can just have a peaceful day that's all i want just one peaceful day holy smokes holy smokes dude chill First of all, you almost went right into my lane and hit my Bugatti, and he's sh oh, he's scraping it, dude. Are you kidding me? Okay, I gotta I gotta do this. Hold on a second. I gotta talk to this guy. I think he just scratched my bumper. I'm literally standing on this rail so I can get up to him. He says, "Any problem, sir? You just hit my car." If you didn't realize that, dude, you just hit my car. He said, it's hard to drive this. Isn't this supposed to be your job? I said, aren't you supposed to be good at driving? Isn't that the whole point of your job? He said, it's a simple fix. A simple fix? I said, do you realize how expensive this simple fix is going to be? I said, let's exchange insurance or I'm calling the police. He says, let me go get it. Okay, he's going to go get the insurance. His insurance company is going to hate him, dude. This is gonna cost lots of money. Don't forget, this whole car is $25 million. Oh my god! What are you doing? Okay, I'm calling the police. This is too much. He's literally leaving, too. Why are you driving away? Oh my god. Okay, I need to get in touch with the police right now. I said, sir, someone just hit my car in Westover gas station. I said, it's a truck driver, dude. We have to talk to the police. My entire car is messed up now. The police are wondering if he's still at the scene and I said no he ran away after he hit me where did he go I think I said I think towards Kensington I don't know he took a right which only would go down to Kensington so I guess we should probably follow him I don't know it looks like McLaren's probably gonna take his car but dude my car is not running right anymore are you friggin kidding me I said I'm gonna follow him he's gotta pay for this who the heck was that guy and why did he think he could just straight up leave right after causing millions of dollars of damage to my own car the police said all units report we have a hit and run with a reckless semi truck on interstate respond code 3 okay so it looks like things are about to go down right here guys guys I caught up to the truck driver here he is and there's a bunch of police officers catching up as well holy crud look at the way he's driving all right I'm gonna try to sneak up ahead just like this holy smokes what is going on jeez and there goes the cops right after him as well. Dude, what the heck is going on right now? Get him, guys, get him! This is unbelievable! What? Have you guys ever seen truck drivers like this? Why is he running from the police too? He could just stop. The guy is still running. It's been like a solid few minutes and he's still running from the police. Holy smokes, he just cut that corner. 
Holy smokes! Dude, they gotta get this guy. He's driving like a freaking maniac right now. Oh, we're back in Westover. Okay, this is it. This has got to be the chance. You know what? I should probably stay away, to be completely honest. But look at this guy drive. Now he's on the curb. Oh my god. He's going over the bridge now. Holy crud, dude. Oh, what is he doing? What is he doing? Oh my god. Oh my god. This guy just completely fell off the cliff. Holy smokes. Dude, I'm gonna stay back a little bit, but I hope that guy is okay. Oh, it seems like he's okay. He says, help, I'm stuck. Okay, we got the ambulance on the line. I'm on the phone with the paramedics right now. They said, what is your location? I said, east of Westover, near the mountain entrance. Okay, so they're bringing an ambulance right now. Thank gosh, dude. Holy smokes, what is going on? Oh, somebody just said, excuse me, sir. I said, yes, sir, what's going on? Dude, is this guy gonna be okay? Okay, he's asking me if I can come over and explain what happened. I said, so this guy hit me twice at the Westover gas station, and then he proceeded to run off when I asked for insurance papers. Okay, he said the EMS is here, hold on, no problem. Okay, here comes the ambulance, thank gosh, dude. Holy smokes. Okay, wow, that was a very quick stop. Holy crud. Dude, how are we gonna get this guy out of here? What the heck? Okay, the paramedics are here. He says, sir, can you hear me? He says, what are you saying? I think the guy might have went deaf. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, there he is. He's stuck inside. How are we gonna get him out? I said he can't hear anything. You guys gotta pull him out. He might have a concussion. Oh my god, he said, I can't feel my legs. Dude, this guy got totally messed up from this. The paramedic says, I'm going to need help pulling him out. They're both on top of the truck right now, trying to pull him out of here. Holy crud, dude. This is so bad. This guy says, sir, please go stand by the ambulance. Okay, okay, okay. They just put him inside of the ambulance now. Oh my god, finally. Holy, look at the damage. Look at the destruction here, guys. This is unbelievable. Okay, it looks like they're taking him to the hospital now. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in as well. And uh, hopefully, I'm gonna wait for the cops to follow first. I'll stay good enough behind them. All right, they're taking him to the hospital now, guys. Holy crud, look at that truck. All right, I'll let those guys go first. All the police officers, they'll go first. I'll stay behind, but they're going to the hospital now, so I'll meet them there in a minute. I guess it's probably not really up to me at this point. I don't know if I'm actually allowed to go to the hospital, so I should probably just wait. Um, but yeah, they're calling to say that there's an injured male, spinal injuries. Holy smokes, dude, this guy got really messed up from that crash. I mean, you guys saw it, right? Like, that was a brutal crash. I should probably just wait and then talk to the police later, so I'll let them do their job. Guys, I guess we'll wrap it up here. I'll let you know if I'll end up getting this car fixed, but for the time being, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, leave it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you guys want to see more Ultimate Driving. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next video.